Welcome back, you guys. So today, I'm going to be testing out these videos that the seller had told me to watch. So he was suggesting that maybe the reason why the servo motors were stalling out and not wanting to run, whenever I turned on the controller, it would wind up not wanting to move like I showed in those last few videos. I mean, it moved a little bit, but it would stop, so even when I kept moving back and forth on the slider, um, he said, he asked if I had power going to the board itself instead of just using the USB. So then I thought, I was like, no, I haven't. So let me just show you really quick that I got this charger cord over here. I don't see it turning on or charging, but let me just show you. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's a little green light. It's very small. You can see it a little bit, but um, I got my multimeter over here, and it's connected to this battery right here. I think it's a LiPo battery. A lithium. Let's see, lithium ion. Anyway. I got it connected to that charging circuit for a USB type B. It's a charger and it is charging. And you can see over here I have the red and black. So a positive and negative connected to the controller. And I'm going to turn on my multimeter right now. You can see right now it's not connected so I have to hit push the probes into the screw terminals. So positive, and hold on, it's hard to do this with one hand, but um, so I got positive, and then we got the negative, and it shows 8.353, roughly around a little over 8, which is good because it, the controller should be able to handle it was anywhere from 5 volts to almost 9 volts. Not exactly 9, but it was close to 9. So now that we have that on, I just showed you that it is showing past 8 volts. And <clears throat> I got the program on my laptop. And you can see that it's not connected because I don't have the switch on. So I'm going to turn the switch on right now, even with the power and everything, and it is connected to the USB port. So I'm going to turn it on. And it already moved a little bit, just turning it on. And you can see it says green for it being connected to the program. So now I'm going to use... i got to grab my mouse, but... um. There we go. So I'm going to use my mouse. I got a Bluetooth mouse here. It's the from Logitech, the MX Master. So now I have it on and I am able to control it. Okay. So now D1 is going to be that green, that white horn servo that I had 3D printed for the horn. So I'm going to move it back and forth. And again, it stalled out. And it's flashing. So I, and it doesn't make any sense because I did make sure that it was connected. And you can see it's still connected. I didn't shut it off just yet. But it's still not move like I'm moving the slider back and forth, and I'm still having the same issue. I'll try the ID2 for the second servo over here, and still I'm moving it back and forth, and nothing is moving. So that isn't a good sign, and I'm doing. D ID3 and still it's not moving and it's still showing flashing 
I don't know what the flashing is about because I didn't download like an action group or anything to the controller. I'm just using the program to move the sliders to move the servo. So I'm going to shut it off. Now before I do, let me just show you with my multimeter that I still have 8 volts on the power supply. Or past 8 volts anyway. Uh, trying to figure all this out with one hand for the video is ridiculous. And it's showing four now, which is weird. It should be five. I mean, it should be eight. So I don't know if that has to do with it being connected to the um, USB or what. But let me just shut it off. And see, there it goes. Now it went down to 8.53. So if I turn it back on, and it went back up to 4.8. So I don't understand why that's happening, but I am doing what he suggested using the power supply. And it's still giving me this issue where it's still flashing and now I, now that I've turned it on and turned it off, it should be able to move at least a little bit for the white servo motor um, horn. Yeah, so it moved a little bit. stalled out again so that's all I was able to get and I still don't know why when I turn it when I turn on the power that it does eight volts to like four to almost five but yeah I just wanted to make this video just so that way the seller could see this one too because I'm still not sure if I just need to get a new um, a replacement board or have a refund and just give this back. So I'm just trying to figure this out still. And you would think that it would be good because it is brand new. I bought it from Amazon, new, not used, or from any other person. It was strictly from the Swan... I forgot the name exactly. It's Swan something. Um, hold on. Uh, it's from High Wander, but it's Swan Salt. Uh, Lawn Salt or something. I forget. It's hard to pronounce that name. L E W A N and then S O U L. Anyway, so this was the videos that he recommended that I check out about the program and how to connect the power supply and the, and the servo motors. But obviously I have everything set up the way I watched the video about it. So I'm not sure why the voltage goes from 8.5 to 4.5 eight or like less than five volts even though i have the usb connected and that's five volts so it's really strange to me because like i can show you right now that the let me just put the pros back on and it's still off i'm not going to turn it on just want to show you guys that i am putting out at least past eight volts of, electri of electricity dc and you can see right there it's hard to see what my wire is in the way but that is 8.53 and that's voltage dc and then whenever i turn it on it goes down to like 4.8 i think there it goes it's on 
And now I'm going to hit the probes again. And you see now it's 4.8. 4.8182 even though it should be putting out 8 volts so like I'm not sure if this controller is actually damaged or has some kind of issue but it does have 5 volts coming in from the USB connected to my laptop and it did have over 8 volts connected to the power of my battery and the um circuit charging char charging circuit so it seems like it doesn't even matter if i have the power connected because like i could i got a voltage adjuster and i do have regular um ac to dc adapters well basically power supplies that can make I can actually convert like a 12 volt AC adapter that I have like for like one amp I can bring it down because I got voltage adjusters so like I can bring it down to like 8 volts if I wanted to from 12 but even if I do that it doesn't even seem like me putting in a regular power supply with a AC to DC power outlet to a regular house connection it may still drop down to like less than five volts like it was just showing so i uh, hope that the seller would understand what's going on or if i if he does recommend that i just need to get a replacement or just get a refund and give it back i'll do whatever he asks me to do but i hope you guys are liking the video and I'm sorry if this one took too long. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.